Okay, so today's video, I'm basically just going to have a chat with you. I haven't planned this video whatsoever. I just wanted to kind of be a really chatty, sit down, sort of just like I'm vlogging, basically. Um, I have a cup of tea here, and I'm basically just going to have a little chat with you, mainly about YouTube and the old, old YouTube, um, and how I kind of want to bring back the old YouTube and basically just have a bit of a chat and discussion about it really. Um, I'd love you to get all involved in the comments section below as well. Um, but yes, hope you enjoy. <laughs> so I mainly wanted to film this as well because I know the majority of you watching this probably won't have watched YouTube back. When I watched YouTube, when I started watching YouTube, I have, I think, talked about this before, like how I started watching YouTube, and when I started watching YouTube, I think in, like, um, I did a video for my first YouTube anniversary where I kind of explained that, um, so if you want to go and watch that, I'll put the link below. But I basically started watching YouTube back in about 2010, 2011, probably 2010, um, yeah. Uh, probably late 2010 and um, YouTube back then was very very different to how it is now. Now believe it or not like I watched Zoe, Zoella, people like Zoella, Alfie, Louise when they literally had a couple of hundred subscribers. Back then it was like this kind of almost like secret kind of thing not many people knew about it whatsoever. I didn't really want to talk about it to my friends or family because they think I was like so weird. They would literally be like, why are you watching this person speak about makeup or speak about what they're doing in their day or on a topic or whatever to a camera? And I'd be like, well, I just really enjoy it. And if you don't know, the first person I actually started watching on YouTube, her name's Sarah, uh, S Walker Makeup. I think she might be starting videos again soon. I really hope so. She's kind of hinted at it on Instagram and stuff. Um, but yeah, she was the first person who I watched and I have watched every, every single one of her videos. Like same with like Zoe and Alfie and people like that. But yeah, Sarah was the first person who I watched and I just, I just loved it. It was just something about it. Like it was so much better than TV for me. Like I could just watch what I wanted to watch whenever I wanted to watch it so it's just it was just like great platform that I found I just thought oh my god this is so great like this is kind of my entertainment yes I also watched it for makeup tutorials etc etc and I gained so much knowledge and tips through watching videos but um I also did watch it for my entertainment and that's an interesting question actually why do you watch YouTube? Do you watch it for entertainment purposes? Do you watch it to find out some information? Do you watch it because you like that person who's making the videos? Let me know because I don't know why people watch me. <laughs> I guess that's so stupid, but I don't know. You know, do people watch me because they want to learn something? I highly doubt that, but <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. So let me know, actually. That's quite a good question to ask. Um, but yes, I kind of wish I would have done this live because then I'd have a live feed, but I don't think a lot of people would watch me live. But this is the kind of video that I would like to do live anyway. Um, <laughs> Also, my hair is bugging me today, that's why I stuck on a scarf, just to make it look maybe a little bit better. I'm just not feeling it. I think I might grow my hair out. This, sorry, I'm just going on off tangents in this video, but it's meant to be just a, we'll say what I want kind of video. Um, that's another thing I'll get into in a minute. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to grow my hair out a little bit longer again. Like, I was looking back at old photos and I kind of miss my long hair. Um, well, I didn't have long, long hair, but... It was pretty long compared to what it is now. Um, yes, so let me know about that. Uh, but yes, um, that's the thing I was going to talk about. Um, was videos in general on YouTube back then. Because people used to just film videos on webcams. Webcams of their laptops and no editing was involved. They would just have like that. And to be honest, I literally, I didn't even think anything about it, like that was just what YouTube was. Uh, people just making videos, uploading them, you know, saying what they want in videos. Um, and that was, that was YouTube. Um, and I didn't think anything of it. And then suddenly, it kind of almost was a kind of instant thing. I didn't really, it kind of just like went whew. And people, you know, started getting like proper professional cameras, started editing these swish videos. I mean, 
how many people did use those things plus webcams but the majority of people use other people like I remember Louise and Zoe I remember watching loads of Louise's videos and especially when her and Zoe kind of became friends um they always used to make videos and oh my god I just I loved those type of videos it was when if anyone remembers this when Zoe and Louise I can't remember what video it was but Louise started choking them eating curly wheelies and then for some reason she choked on her hair I think and <laughs> she was like really sick and oh my god that I just remember like I had to watch that over and over again it's not up on our channel anymore but oh my god that was just like the funniest thing and I just remember like that's what I miss like I just miss the old YouTube I miss just people like loads of videos on the web camera that's why I'm liking this new lifestyle of YouTube because I think that's kind of brought a little bit back into what YouTube was before um so yes um now I know I'm sat here making a video on a camera and a big tripod and I'm going to edit this video. I could have just made this on my webcam really but I just, I feel bad, I think that's why because I think YouTubers are expected to now have really high quality cameras and be able to edit amazingly and you know have flawless videos and to be honest, I don't think that's what YouTube should be about. It was never, ever, ever like that. Like, it was never like that. Um, and it's really weird now how focused it's become on the quality of videos. When I watch a video, I don't really care about the quality. I'm going to watch that video because I want to watch that video. I've clicked on the title or the thumbnail because I want to watch that video. Um, not to kind of critique the quality of it. Um, so, yes, that's something that has annoyed me, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I do love the quality of my camera, um, but I could probably get a way better quality camera, but I like this one, and I think my videos are perfectly fine, like, the way they, like, physically look. Um, <laughs> uh, I, yes, I could improve on my editing probably a lot better, but I only use iMovie to edit. I, I would love, don't get me wrong, I would love to use Final Cut Pro, but I can't afford it. <laughs> so i really it is for now but yes i mean obviously i am a media production student as well so i get to mess around with other editing, so blah, 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 editing softwares um in uni but obviously i just edit my own videos on imovie uh something i'm going to tell you actually which probably not a lot of you will know i actually started making videos um on my laptop I had a little pink little netbook and I used to actually make videos like I do now, literally kind of what's on my channel now. Um, and I, like I literally used to make proper YouTube videos on my laptop and thinking about now it was probably really stupid but at the time that's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to do would be a YouTuber literally back in like probably 2011. That's all, all I wanted to do. I used to, I literally used to make so many like they're probably still on that laptop, I've got it somewhere, they're probably still all on there. And yes, I wish, I wish I loaded them because, like, that's a long time. I, technically, I've made videos since 2011, however, I only made my channel in 2014. Um, so for all those years, I have actually been making videos, but I just never posted them on YouTube. Um, I just don't think I ever quite have the confidence to... Um, but yes, I do wish I had started it back then, um, but again, back then it wasn't a thing that was done, and I would felt probably really out of place if I'd uploaded those back then, but now everyone, like, everyone does YouTube, like, it's just the thing, um, everyone watches YouTube, and, um, I think more generations are now learning about YouTube, like, the older generations are learning about YouTube, um, and, you know, uh, even fans of the famous youtubers yes some of them are younger um but a lot of them are actually quite you know they're older my age and older so yes um i mean they sound like i'm really old i'm only 18 um <laughs> but uh some of them are like 40 50 plus as well which i think is really nice like i think that part is nice that youtube has grown that much that all generations now watch it but I'm not going to lie, I do miss the old YouTube and I kind of wish 
I do kind of wish sometimes that I could just post a video and people not judge as well. Like there wasn't really a lot of judging going on and comparing YouTubers as well. Um, there was none of this sort of like famous YouTubers like, oh, I don't know how to describe it but um, but like a lot of famous YouTubers now get harassed and they get put down by other YouTubers and I just think that's really wrong because at the end of the day that's kind of their job and they are, you know, if you were in a kind of office you wouldn't be like, oh that person does their job really badly, well I wouldn't anyway but I don't know, it's really weird, like YouTube is a weird kind of platform and um, for me personally, of course, I love it. I wouldn't be sat here making videos if I didn't love it. Like, I don't, I suppose, I don't really have anything to prove that I did watch YouTube back then. But I tell you what, if I can find those old videos, then maybe I'll post one. I don't know how bad they are though, so. <laughs> yes. The look of YouTube has changed a lot as well. Like, um, <laughs> who remembers when, I think I mentioned this video recently, the description box actually used to be a sidebar, like it used to be on the side, it didn't used to be whatever you want to call it, the down bar, the description box, whatever. It used to be on the side, so used to people like people were like, go check the sidebar. Um subscribe used to be at the top, not the bottom. Um, what else? Um <laughs> if you watch back like really old videos, probably people would be like, subscribe at P or click the sidebar here. Yeah, it's quite funny. Um thinking about that now. Um, <laughs> never really used to be a negative place, like, of course people would get kind of negative comments, that's kind of what's going to happen, but it never used to really be negative, um, there wasn't really, like, how much negativity there is now on here is kind of insane, um, but yeah, there wasn't really a lot of negativity, um, <laughs> Not that I knew of anyway. I also, I think it's really, really wrong now how the media decides to portray YouTube and YouTubers. I, this annoys me so, so, like, so, so, so much. Like, YouTube, like, YouTubers do work really hard. And I can tell you that now because I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm a really small YouTuber, but I tell you what, I know, I know how much work goes into that one video, um, especially videos like this, but also like daily vloggers, they vlog every single day, they're going to have to edit that video and get that up every single day, like it's hard, like I've done vlogmas before and like doing that, it's hard, you know, I know it's their job, but you're constantly working, you never actually have time off. Even for me, I'm always thinking of like YouTube ideas, I'm always thinking of blog ideas, I'm like, oh wait, I should take a photo before I use that. Everything like this, like you probably don't even think about when you watch a video like this, but I know how much time goes into making those videos and I just feel really bad when the media just portrays YouTubers in such a bad light and they just pick away everything and just grab a story that's not even there. They do that a lot with the UK famous YouTubers. And trust me, yes, it irritates me a lot. Um, a lot. <laughs> I feel like selfie are always in the media for something. Um, and I feel really bad for them because, you know, yes, they are probably really, really, really thankful for the position they are in the moment, but there again, they probably never ever thought they would get to where they are at the moment. Um, so, you know, it's not their fault, it's not their fault that they're famous, if you know what I mean. Um, they're probably really thankful, but it's not their fault, you know, that people come to their house all the time. Um, they can't really do anything, but I know they post videos online, but you know, do you get what I mean? <laughs> I'm really, really proud of the YouTubers that have made it because they 100% totally, totally, totally deserve it. And um, I will always support them and I'll support new YouTubers, small YouTubers as well. Um, so, um, and now I know it sounds really stupid, but they have changed my life. They have influenced me so, so, so much so much. They've helped me through some really, 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 really rough times. I mean that, like, I, I honestly, 
honestly don't know what I would do without them or YouTube. Like, I wouldn't be me. Like, I wouldn't be me if it wasn't YouTube. And, like, I have grown and changed so much over the past few years, but yes, it's probably due to them as well. You know, they, they influenced me to make these videos, to make me start making videos in 2011. You know, they influenced me so, so much. I would like to say a massive thank you to them because they are my role models and, you know, they'll never be watching this video, but like personally I just want to say a massive massive thank you because it does mean so much to me and I wouldn't I wouldn't be making videos if it wasn't for them so thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now because I'm gonna get a bit emotional. But overall I would like to see the old YouTube back. I do love YouTube how it is now but I just think sometimes it gets too crazy and there's too much negativity online and sometimes I feel like we just need the old webcam YouTube back and uh, yeah I don't know let me know what you think. So I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video Um, I'm sorry for like I probably look I look like an absolute mess sorry about this Um, but I just wanted to have a little chat to you really nothing formal or you know thing about this like this is what I miss as well just people having chats online you know um, so yes, um, do let me know what you think, I'd love to hear your opinions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I hope you're all doing really well, and don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My giveaway is still on for the Sweet Peach palette, which I'll also put the link to below if you want to go and enter that. And yeah, I'm going to put my tea down, say goodbye. <laughs> I hope you're all well, lots of love, I'll see you in my next video, bye!